That is a song entitled Maynard and Waynard. What's cool about this, and it's something I'm really proud of, is the fact that this was the last song that the great legendary trumpet player Maynard Ferguson played and recorded in his lifetime. He passed away a month or something after he recorded this, and he recorded it with the lead trumpet player of the big fat band, Wayne Bergeron, which is why it was a duet for the two of them, Maynard and Waynard, written for two trumpet players initially. But in this case, it's all on you and your right hand in order to play this melody kind of like a trumpet player would, which means you need to phrase it, I think, with a lot of um, precision. So the melody goes in the pick up to bar nine. You see how the long short, that's important. So this is just essentially a blues in the key of F. Um, but there's a lot of little nuances that you're going to want to deal with, especially the bass line of your left hand. You, this, your left hand is the entire rhythm section for this piece. There's no drummer. There's no guitar player going chink, chink, ka chink, ka chink, ka chink. It's just you going. Those quarter notes have to be completely connected, full value. So one leads into the next. recommend getting a metronome up and playing that bass line with the metronome. See our tempo is 144, okay? Until your left hand is almost automatic, so it's going on its own. And that way your right hand can concentrate on figures, because the right hand could lay back once in a while on some of these figures, right? Like if you look at bar uh, 14 and 15, where the melody goes. You might be able to pull back on that. Something like that, like this. That's what a horn player might do to a lick like that. You don't have to do it, but it's an option. You probably aren't going to use your sustain pedal very much in this piece, but there's a couple places where you can see we've indicated, like at bar five, six, seven, where we go. Hit that sustain on that on that D flat ninth chord. Helps kind of give a same thing at um, bar 36. But Keep it pretty light. You're not going to use too much sustain pedal. Um, I like to write these cap accents, especially for horn players, because what it means is I want it short, but I want it really hit pretty hard. Like at bar 45, you can see the melody goes. Those quarter notes all have these accents on them. So it isn't staccato. It's not that. Same thing at bar 57 in the left hand, you answer the melody with these hits and think like a trombone section would. Bop, bop. It's not short, there's a little more length on the note, but it definitely is hit hard. Other than that, um, try to Practice with the metronome, get your time good and solid, and keep that pulse in your body as you're playing this music. And um, that's the key to an effective performance of Maynard and Waynard. Thank you for playing this song. I appreciate it.